<laughs> All right, welcome in. Gun Talk Live. We're back. We're back finally. After a long road, yeah. we're finally back on our live we, schedule. We have not been in the studio um, no. in a while. We've been on the road traveling. We did a few lives on the road. We did a few lives on the road. We did a live We've from been up Six at Sig. Hour. Uh, Boondocks, you guys probably saw us at Boondocks, yep. and uh, all our new guns and gear are starting to drop, so episode yep. five is this week. Yeah, on uh, Sportsman Channel, yep. um, but yeah, we, we are trucking across the country in search of truth and cool guns. Um, well, well last, I've, I've been back, yeah. but you haven't. You've been in Oregon. In the last four weeks, and you South guys saw the, we saw the live we did from uh, Washington, D.C., so I think it started then, in June. Yeah. So, so it's been Washington D.C. It's been uh, New Hampshire. Yeah. It's been Texas with Ruger, which you're going to see some new content. Oh yeah. From that, um, we went, went, then we went to South Dakota. We went to Montana. We went yeah, to I Oregon. Yeah, I forgot about Montana. Yeah, <laughs> Jeez. I know. We went to Montana. We went to Oregon, and we're back for the time being. For the time being, I get so to we wash got our, clothes. Yeah. So we got our lives going now. So. Um, but we wanted to take a second and show you guys some of the stuff that we've been working with. Yeah. Um, here lately, we've been carrying some new holsters, just trying them out, just giving them a go. And actually, it's the DeSantis uh, holster gun were, hide. Yeah, they were nice enough to send us yeah. a couple different versions of some holsters they do. If you guys probably have heard, heard of DeSantis, DeSantis, um, been making holsters for a long time. And they have, obviously, a lot of varieties of holsters. Yeah. It's not like a one size fits all. I mean, this is... All kinds of different stuff here. It's kind of hard to see against the black. Yeah. But this is one of those kind of hybrid holster. Um, it's got the hard shell. Um, this is a two-clip version inside the waistband. And uh, really, the, really comfortable. It doesn't move much on the you. The Infiltrator Air is air. that one. That's yeah. the Air. Um, but we, I guess we, you know, as much as we're traveling and everything, uh, and as seasons change, you're your carry should change as well. I well, it, you don't have to if you don't want to. That's but, true. you know, a, I mean, a lot of us do kind of adjust our carry yep. um, depending on the season or what we're wearing or whatever. Yep. That's why you end up with a dozen holsters. Yes. Figure uh, out what you like. This, is, uh, this one is for the Springfield Armory XDM 3.8, and which is, I mean, it's sort of a compact. It's sort of a, it's sort of full-size gun, yeah. but... It's um, it, it fits really nicely in here. It has a little retention to it, but it, it'll pop out if you need to, right? It won't just fall out, though. Yeah. Um, it's actually funny. Poetry on a Cracker actually says, we're in the golden age of holsters. And I, th I think he's right, because you look at uh, what uh, DeSantis has done here with this. I mean, it's seemingly just inconspicuous leather holster. It's really comfortable. I use it as a uh, AIWB, so appendix. And what they've done is they've added a loop here, a belt loop. Um, and I don't know if you want to show it up and we can get it a little bit closer look. But one thing you guys need to watch out for when you do this, make sure there is a, uh, you get a positive grip on this because if your belt slides up or you push down or you bend over or something, mm -hmm. you push down on the top of that. If you don't have a good hook here, that uh, button is going to come undone. Well, there's a special way on holster buttons. You have to kind right. of roll it in to snap it You have to it roll in. it in. Um, but I like what they've done here. If you want to make it an outside the waistband holster, you can. This loop actually comes off, That's so cool. it makes it slimline. That's cool. But uh, this is the Osprey, and I think it's like 70 bucks or something like that. So pretty inexpensive for a really nice leather holster. Now, in the past, you didn't really carry leather holsters much. No. But you've been doing this one. What do you I've think? been doing this one for two months, yeah. uh, and I actually really like it. It contours well to the body, um, and it doesn't. You know, Kydex holsters, there's really not a lot of give there. No. There's no. none. No. Um, but with a leather holster, this and this belt loop, the way it's uh, designed, is it kind of uh, moves with your body. Yeah. Uh, which makes it a little bit more comfortable, especially when you're driving. Um, well, that's one of the things about leather. Once you start carrying it for a while, it does start forming to the way you're carrying yes. it and your body. Absolutely. Which is great. It just yeah. It's like leather, you know, a good pair of leather shoes or leather boots. Yeah. You got to break them in. Oh yeah, you have to break them in. But uh, I'm telling you guys, give these guys a look. Uh, you can go to their website. Uh, I think it's desantis.com uh, or desantisholsters.com, something like that. But they've done a really nice job, and they're branching out. Uh, they provide holsters for the law enforcement, mm -hmm. military, 
Um, they've been doing it for over 40 years. He started, uh, Gene DeSantis started making holsters on his kitchen table, you know, 40 years ago. It's, it's funny, the, the kitchen table gunsmith, yeah. kitchen, there's a lot of companies in the gun industry who started with a guy who likes to make holsters or a guy who likes to make ammo or something yep. like that, and then it exploded from there. I think yes. you, know, you can think of a, a dozen or well, probably more than a dozen companies that are like that. Yep. Uh, Mr. F and H, actually, you're right. Leather absorbs sweat. If you're working outside in hot weather, that's absolutely 100 percent true. Uh, one thing you have to consider when you're working with holsters or when you're selecting your holster. Um, but I honestly, I wear an undershirt, mm -hmm. and so it cuts down on a lot of that sweat, and it makes it a little bit more comfortable. Of course, we're we're down here in the dirty south, oh, so honestly, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if anything you wear, if you're going to be working outside. Th it's going to get a gun yeah. going to have sweat on it at the end Absolutely. of the day. It's going to. Yeah. Now, maybe you lucky few that are in, you know, less humid states oh, yeah. or the great white hey, north or something. Go up north and your holster selections, whatever you want. Look, it's so hot. It's yeah. 83 degrees. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you, uh, we're going to just transition here. We're going to make yep. this go pretty quick. Uh, there's been a video out of a... Uh, that we Monday we, we actually did it on a Tuesday, but we Monday morning quarterback this on a Tuesday. Yes, yes. So now we're we're Thursday afternoon quarterback. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, you know, there are a lot of videos of self defense shootings mm -hmm. out there, and a, a lot of these come from police officers because a lot of them were in body, body cameras. cameras. Um, that being said, it's really easy to Monday morning quarterback and second guess people oh, when yeah. you weren't there. You didn't see what they saw, heard involved. what they heard, but this isn't this isn't a, the purpose of this is not to uh, bag on somebody who's been in a life no. or death shooting. It's just to try to learn, see yeah. what we can learn from it. So um, we have a video that we're going to play for you guys. Just a quick warning: it is graphic. Yes, um, there is people getting shot in this thing. Okay, so if you don't want to watch it, if you have sensitive people, little kids in the room. Just go ahead and cut the stream. <laughs> okay. Come back and watch it later. Um, but we're going to play this video for you, and then we'll talk about it a little bit and kind of give our thoughts. So this is uh, LAPD. Yeah, I mean. LAPD. Um, I think this is outside of a homeless shelter. This guy was already wanted for possibly attacking his girlfriend or wife, and they're yelling at him, drop the knife, drop the knife. Um He's got a big and old he, knife, and he yes. has a chair that he was using as a shield from the beanbag uh, gun they were using. And he, I mean, he was hit multiple times. When they're yelling uh, at each other, you know, the beanbag's ready, or the beanbag's up, I mean, they're hitting him with the beanbag at okay. that point. But he didn't care. He didn't care. It didn't matter. And he was holding a chair and a knife. So, okay. Well, this is where it gets real bad. Or a table. He grabs this lady. And uh, it's just, it, it, it's troubling to watch. It's okay, guys. So, oh, bad day. All right. So um, we're gonna play this again, and we'll kind of do a a pause on this. Okay. So, um, oh, this is another angle. Yeah, a different angle. I mean, same result. Uh, but, four, you know. Four police officers, yeah. it looks like. But there's, there's obviously some angles are like, look. Okay, There's so, no good angle on that. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... Why don't, why don't we see what what can we learn from this? Okay, um, now now what I just said, the, this isn't about it's a bad shoot or good shoot. You know, no, you weren't there. Well, you know, the attorney general or whoever will sort it out. The DA will sort it yep. out. But um, let's let's take a look at what we can learn from it. Okay, let's play it back. So let's think of it not as law enforcement, but if for you being a concealed carry person. Okay, um, this guy has a knife they can see the knife they're yelling drop the knife and then he's got in his other hand he's got a chair yeah he could have a gun maybe he doesn't have a gun all right now we're gonna uh 
Now they're going to start approaching as he's kind of walking towards them a little bit. And all right, pa all right, pause it right here. So, um, you'll notice as the as the police officer gets closer, and he's having to get closer because he's a law enforcement mm -hmm. officer. Most of us would get the heck out of there, right? But play it again. As he gets closer, he's telling the guy, "Drop the knife! Drop the knife!" And he comes off to do something. Stop right there. He and look, off look the at target. this. Yeah, so the bad guy is getting close to the innocent bystander. Um, just as a suggestion, I think what I would do um, is be aimed in on the bad guy, the bad guy that has the knife who could hurt me. Um, sights on him, finger on the trigger, and if we need to, we can press the trigger several times and stop him from and, doing bad stuff. You know, this this goes back to a lot of what we learn on the range. Um, it's not all about shooting fast. It's not all about shooting up close. Sometimes we might be faced with a situation a, a lot like this where you have to extend your range for more precise shots. And I think, uh, man, definitely drilling some of this stuff on the range is uh, definitely something we want to look into. Yeah, Jeff, uh, Jeff Tack says that shoot was bad. The one cop maybe, all three of them shooting was not good. Um, concealed carrier isn't going to have immunity in that case. Concealed carrier is going to prison. Hard to say, right? But um, also, just as a side note, um, this lady, she's in a walker. Um, she may not be very mobile, and so you can't pick on this lady. Um, but yeah. just for most of us to think about this ahead of time before we get into a situation and never have thought about it, if something's going down, get the heck away from the situation. Don't stand there, not picking on her yeah. again, but if you're standing there and there's police officers or there's a guy with a knife or heck, if there's just a man and woman arguing and screaming at each other, instead of getting involved and getting closer or just standing around and watching, get the heck out of the way. This is an example yeah. of somebody who, unfortunately, um, he grabbed her as a hostage and she got shot. Yeah. It's, we'll, it, we'll play, play, keep playing You it. can keep playing it. Um, we'll just play it one more time for everybody, but I, he's not on his gun, and as this guy uh, grabs the, the woman, he's, he wasn't in a position yeah. to make a shot before he got to the woman, and then it was just a, a horrible angle. You need to be looking for angles as well, um, and this may be one of those times where you actually need to close the distance and get up close to him to avoid yeah. hitting the bystander. Yeah. Get up close. Now, that's tricky. You've got all these police officers with guns out. Again, it's a hard right. job, man. Yeah. It's and a I hard think, job. I think something we can learn here, too, is coming off of target. I mean, is when you're engaged in a situation like that, it's not time to come off target. Um, you need to definitely be engaged. Uh, you need to be on the front sight. Yeah. You need, you need that hard focus right there. I'm thinking that moment when he reaches out to go grab this lady is the moment he gets popped. He's got a knife. He's trying to grab this lady. Try to get him before he sh he gets her in the way, you know, yeah. of what you can do. This so all around, let's oh. try to learn from this stuff of what we can do or not or, or what not to do. Um, feel bad for these officers of being in, yeah. in this yeah. sucky situation. <laughs> Poetry on a cracker says, wouldn't want to be on the jury for this one. No. God, no. And uh, not at all. That's so... Um, so, you know, a few more things. We don't want to keep you guys. I'm sure you want to uh, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking taking time out of your busy day, right? Uh, oh, so we've got something new on the table. We got a new, let's talk so about what's here. Let's clear this stuff out. And... All right. One of the hot guns in the last few years has been the Springfield Armory XDS. Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday, they just announced the XDS 9 Mod 2. And so it's got, it's hard to, hard to see if you can see it, this, but it's got kind of that Mod 2 grip texturing, super thin, um, it has a nice set of the sights front here. Sight. The front sight's what really jumped out at me. Try to cheat that. Uh, you can cheat it. it. You pick it up really quick. I mean, that's one of the first things I noticed uh, when we unbox this thing. It, so. is, it is clear. So for, yeah. all you, for all you DROs well, out there. Yeah. <laughs> Digital range officer will make you freak out. Yep. It um, is clear. It's, it is a clear gun, but just trying to give you an angle to see. Um, so that's a brand new gun. Um, you have, let's see, nine in the gun with eight, eight plus one. And then I think 
This is the other one, right? Yep. So this is nine plus one. So ten in the gun, um, in this configuration, that's pretty yeah. sweet. So people people like the XDS um, grip safety in the back. One of the things that the XDs are known for those XD family of guns. Um, and then we've got a giveaway. Giveaway, Kimber giveaway. Hey, let's win some it's stuff. It's easy to go on, guys. It's easy, easy to go on and win. This these are real too, because. It's funny because we get calls or emails, uh, people winning stuff, mm -hmm. and they go, "Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was real." Yeah, this is like a real thing. Like you can really win it. Are real so it's uh, it's the Kimber uh, giveaway with Gun Talk. Um, go to guntalk.com/win, guntalk.com/win, W-I-N, and you can win. The hunter rifle. The hunter rifle. It's a lightweight mountain rifle, five and a half pounds. Detachable box magazine. Um, it's it looks cool. It, it's like coyote tan with you know stainless and bolt and, and all that I stuff. I think that's one direction mo a lot of guys are starting to go is the mountain rifle. It's lighter. Yeah. Um, and in a 308, that's not going to be that. It's not going to beat you up. No, it's not going to beat you up. You can great. reach out far distances, and it'd be easy to hike out. Just in time yep. for hunting season. Yes, always. So go see if you can enter to win that. Um, and then just a couple other things, you know, Gun Dealio app is still alive and kicking, and we are sending out yeah. a lot of deals these days. I'm not kidding. Last year I was it was I was full of it. We weren't sending out anything. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah he but was. We are we are <laughs> sending are. a ton of deals right now. Yeah. Um, we're we've kind of have a new program to get all these specials and deals in. And one thing, the, the thing they sent out yesterday oh my was gosh. an LCP for one sixty nine. One hundred sixty nine bucks. bucks. For a Ruger LCP, That's go to crazy. Gun Dealio. You'll find it all yeah, you'll there. You'll get the flash sales like yeah. one day only. It's yeah. pretty sweet. Um, another thing is our newsletter. If you haven't signed up for our newsletter, check it out. If you want to know what you need to know about 3D guns, Tom wrote a piece this week, mm -hmm. and it is dropping at 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, but go on, subscribe there. Um, but he has some very interesting thoughts about the 3D gun uh, uh, debate that's going on right now. Uh, you guys will want to check that out. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all it is. Man, good stuff in the newsletter. So I, we're already getting, we got a good snarky comment about my haircut, so that's good. <laughs> we got to get that in. People hate, I don't know why they hate it. They love to hate. Uh, hate uh, is going to hate. That's not a DR guy. Digital barber. The bald people. This it's God's all... gift. But I got the hair. Well, like Link. <laughs> no, so don't. Please. No. Find Ryan's hair. That's, we've probably gone down the road. Uh, be safe out there and.